Hello everyone, myself Dr. Aditya Gupta. In this video, I wanted to talk to every NEET aspirant. It doesn't matter whether you're giving a NEET UG exam, but it doesn't matter whether you're giving a NEET PG exam, and it doesn't matter whether you're giving a NEET SS exam. I want to tell you about the fact that previous year questions are the gold standard. This is something which was told to me if you would have watched my previous videos. Uh, between 11th and 12th standard, especially for the NEET UG uh, uh, students who are going to give their NEET UG exam next year or next uh, year after that. Uh, between 11th and 12th standard, there was a monumental shift in my preparation. The first shift was that I started focusing more on NCRT. And the second shift was that I met one of my father made me meet a state PMT topper, RPMT topper. And he said something to me. Do you practice a lot of questions? I said, no, I don't do questions practice many questions. And he said, Ki, that is one of the biggest mistakes that you're doing. And the second thing he told me was, Ki, kya practice karega? And I said, I'll solve the modules behind the coaching institute. Ke and he's like, like, you know, he looked at me and said, Nahi, you have to practice previous year questions. And he said something which has stuck with me since then. Beat my neat UG, beat my neat PG and beat my neat SS. He said, Ramayan Mahabharat ke zamane se question chain nahi hume hai. What he basically meant to say was that the same topics and the same questions also keep on getting repeated again and again and again and again. And these previous year questions give you an insight into what the examiner likes to ask. What will he ask and how will he, you know, ask this question next year in a slightly different format. Previous year questions are an insight, are a, like, you know, a telescope sort of a thing into the mind of the examiner, you know, and it helps you get inside the mind of the examiners how do we prepare? How do we efficiently utilize our time in preparation? Doesn't matter the exam, NEET UG, NEET PG, you know. Especially for the NEET UG folks, previous year questions, I'll divide them into three parts, bio, biology, chemistry, and physics. And how do you utilize these previous year questions? Most importantly. And let me tell you, this is the first time I'm telling this. I've been telling this since the past one year. I've been telling this since the past 10 years. Ki previous year question and practice is the bedrock of your foundation for the preparation for NEET UG. I will give this advice that you always practice. Don't do it with practice. Do it with all you have to practice. You will have objective books. Every question that you have to practice every time, practice makes a man perfect. That's a true saying. You should practice each and every question thoroughly, every day, every moment. Dinke sabbat se gaita chhe saath ghande padne zoruri hai haan But mei saab se un chhe saath ghande mei kam se kam chaar ghande Aapko practice karne se Objective or questions ki practice karne se Yeh dus aal ho gaya Same cheez bolte bolte But thik hai No ko Everything that has been said has already been said But since no one was listening I'm repeating it again and again So as far as previous year questions is concerned Physics ke baare mei mei nai pehle bhi bata ta Most importantly physics ke liye Physics ke questions ko baar baar solve karne se You get to realize ki Yeh yeh topic joh hai na Exam mei baar baar poochha ja raha hai so I should focus on this more. I should practice more questions of this. And at the same point of time, or the same concept being applied in 10 different ways in that type of question, you can actually, like I said, memorize physics also by trying to solve what kind of questions that you ask. Similarly, as far as biology and chemistry is concerned, before that, I would like to give you a recommendation. Ki how do you solve these previous year questions? And from where do you solve these previous year questions? For that, I have a beautiful recommendation called from AV publication. You have previous year 35 neat biology question. You need physics question, you need physics questions, and you need chemistry questions. This all comes in a set. The really, really good thing about this is that they are past 35 years questions, but they are given topic wise. They are not given like pura pura paper nahi hai. They are given topic wise. So physics mein aaj tumne let's say electromagnetism kiya, ya alternating current kiya. Usme ek chota sa sub topic pada. To chote se sub topic se hi jaake solve the previous year question. See what kind of questions they are being asked. Okay, this will give you an insight into the mind of the examiner. So let's assume you are doing physics. So you go, you're doing physics. Let's say you go inside, you see, okay. So what did you do today? You did today, today moving charges and magnetism. So today you read magnetic field and circular coil. So just on that topic, the previous year question. There are 20 questions. There are 20 questions. There are 20 questions. Solve those 20 questions. Realize what kind of questions my examiner keeps on asking. And then solve those type of questions once again and again. Practice those questions again and again. You don't need to see that the level of magnitude of the questions by using these books, this topic-wise previous year MCQ books by AV publication. You'll realize ki okay, this type of questions are are hote hain. Aise level of questions are hote hain. Is level ke practice karna hai. Meko JE advanced ke level ke practice nahi karna hai. Meko NEET ke level ke practice karna hai. But again and again and again. Inhi satra questions ko bhi baar baar practice karo till the time they become inscribed in your mind. Okay. 
Similarly, as far as biology is concerned, you all know I keep on emphasizing NCRT. And NCRT is the paper that has no doubt. You don't believe me? You just practiced past 35 years papers. In 2009, NCRT changed. In 2009, you will solve the question of the previous year's question. You will realize topics I solved. You will realize not even a single question is out of NCRT. Maybe one or two. And you keep on asking me one thing, right? Sir, what do you have to do outside NCRT? Whatever is given in a previous year question outside NCRT, only that needs to be read. Just remember this stuff outside NCRT, what is there in the previous year question and nothing else you need to do. Absolutely nothing else. Similarly for chemistry, I believe chemistry is uh, a combination of physics and biology. The organic and inorganic is something similar to biology. You need to memorize a lot and physical chemistry is just like physics. Again, practice. Practicing previous year questions will make you realize what are your weaknesses in physical chemistry. Will make you realize what things you need to focus more on. What are more important topics. For example, in my time, equilibrium was a very more important topic. It was a weak topic of mind. So I spent more time on it, making sure it becomes a really good topic of mind. And how did I know it's an important topic? Because there were many previous year questions. When I in my time solved previous year questions, there were different publications. I don't think so. Even those publications even exist right now at that point of time. Okay. So when I solved previous year questions, I realized, okay, equilibrium में बहुत सारे questions हैं. So at that point of time, I realized कि okay, equilibrium को मेरे को strong बनाना पड़ेगा. Similarly for organic and non-organic, by practicing these previous year questions again and again and again again, they got memorized it. You know, practicing MCQs also helps you improve your memory, and practicing MCQs again helps in revising faster also. So that's the thing I've been saying. Practice. Practice makes a man perfect. Practice previous year questions thoroughly and practice them again and again and again. And again, like I'll say, for uh, if you want to ask me a book recommendation for previous year question, I'll say go for AV publication, previous year 35 neat paper. The reason I'm saying this is because they're not given year-wise, they're given topic-wise as well. So even if you do a very small topic today, try to solve 20, 30 MCQs of that particular topic that very day. Try to solve them again and again. And you will solve similar questions once And in this way, your preparation for NEET will become best. Thank you and have a nice day.